one in football has been impressed by Paul Merson's battle against his private demons. But Merson's return to the England squad wasn't the only continuing comeback story of the last seven days. Nigel Jensen's had nothing like Merson's problems, but at Oxford last Tuesday, Jensen took the latest step on the road to rebuilding his promising career, scoring the Coca-Cola Cup goal that knocked out Sheffield Wednesday, the club that once signed him for a million pounds. But then Jensen's always had a taste for the special occasion. Brian Clough spotted it. Jensen was just 18 when Nottingham Forest paid £250,000 for him. A year later, he was living every young striker's dream. But well, suddenly, Clough's way up forward now, and Jensen is in a chance for Forest! He's done it! Forest can back to the lead! Well, it's, it's obviously nice to score, but you know, to make it extra pressure, it was just a 1-0. Victory, so you know, everyone will always remember that goal. Uh, and, you know, it was just absolutely fantastic. You know, at one stage, you know, I had the world on feet, and I thought, you know, I was there. But the jewel in Forest's Wembley crown began to lose its sparkle. Clough had a strict code of conduct, and Jensen's precocious talent didn't always conform. The following year, he scored vital goals to help Clough see his only FA Cup final. But on the big day, Jensen wasn't even a substitute. I think the biggest point, to be honest, that would be the FA Cup final against Cotton um, was the turning point, I think. Um, you know, I never really wanted to leave Forest, but I think to further my career, I thought going to Sheffield and playing under cover would have been uh, the best thing for me. Jensen! Superb goal! Jensen with the there were goals at Sheffield Wednesday, but there was also greater pressure. And then came an incident Jensen was just lucky to survive. His car came off work in a collision with a lorry, whose driver was later convicted. I was totally, you know, drained from this all. Um, you know, getting back from the injuries uh, was tough. Um, it was a mental thing as well, just going out there and, you know, knowing that you more or less got to start again, playing the reserves, you know, some time for people and, you know, playing hard. And, the game in fitness again. After Wednesday, Jensen lived the nomadic life on loan and enhanced his reputation as a striker with a bad attitude. But in April, there was a glimpse of the good side again when he returned to Wembley to score the goals that won Rotherham, the also wins Green Shield. Dennis Smith was watching, and as a manager who knows how to polish up rough diamonds, he was prepared to spend £60,000 and give Jensen a last chance. I think Brian Clough once called him Big Ed, which is, which is quite a, which is quite a certainly in coming from Brian Clough. <laughs> yeah, I think he's got a lot of belief in his own ability, and I like that in a football, and I think that you need that, especially as a striker. You've got to believe that you're a good player. Now, it's a matter of, of growing up and keep, keeping that under control, and I think he's possibly come to that age now in his life where he realises that, you know, being arrogant, you need to control it and use it at the right time. That regulated arrogance served Oxford well again on Saturday. Jensen didn't score, but he helped push Portsmouth to breaking point. Smith signed him to link play together, and it was Jensen's clever cross that created the opening goal for another of Oxford's reformed characters, Jerry Bitchin. Terry Venables, Portsmouth's director of football, wasn't at the matter ground, but manager Terry Fennick had the first team in for extra training on Sunday, so dreadful was their performance. Mike Ford sat in Oxford's second. After that, Oxford spent much of their time toying with a Portsmouth side reduced to 10 men and not really in the mood to be wound up. Nigel Jensen would never claim to be Mr. Popular with the opposition, but handled with care, he's turning into one of the bargain signings of the season. Real make sure he doesn't believe he's made it yet. He's done well for him, he's scored seven goals. But he's got a full season to you know, if he's got me 30 goals at the end of the season, I think, yeah, the money was well spent. Can he get you 30 goals by the end of the season? If he carries on playing the way he is at the moment, yes. Well, Oxford are into 10th position, their highest place so far this season. Bolton maintain their two-point lead.